Hey, how's it going? Lee Hayward here, and in today's video, you're going to get a complete muscle building workout that you can do at home with minimal equipment. But before we get into that, I just want to give a quick shout out to the brand new Sony Action Cam. Now, if you haven't seen this yet, then you need to check out their YouTube channel right now. You'll see some of the world's top athletes using the Action Cam as they capture some amazing footage tackling the toughest slopes, rapids, racetracks, and bike trails. To see what I mean, just check out this video clip. That's pretty cool, right? Well, the Action Cam has some amazing features like advanced built in image stabilization, live view remote, and GPS. Just click the annotation on the screen or the link in the video description below to see some more incredible Action Cam footage. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe. And now, on to our workout. Today, we're going to be training chest and biceps, and the only piece of equipment you're going to need is a set of adjustable dumbbells. And to start off our chest workout, we're going to do some push-ups. And this is a great overall warm-up exercise for the chest. You're going to really help to pump blood throughout the muscles, and it'll prepare you for the heavier exercises that we're going to do afterwards. So start off with a couple sets of push-ups. Uh, you don't have to rep out to failure, but perform higher reps. Uh, I suggest shooting for about 20 reps or more per set. Now, of course, that's going to depend on your individual strength levels, but again, shoot for higher reps and just get a good pump going throughout the entire chest area. Now, after our push-ups, we're going to do some dumbbell bench presses. Now, I have a makeshift bench here with a couple cushions taken out of the sofa. I mean, you can see the sofa in the background there, and I've taken the cushions, and I've just laid them on the floor and stacked them up. And the idea of this is to elevate your back high enough so that you can do your dumbbell press without your elbows hitting the floor. So it'll allow you to go through a full range of motion with the exercise. And it's actually quite challenging to do your dumbbell presses off a soft surface like this. Now, of course, if you have a home gym with a bench, then of course you can use a bench. But the idea of this video is to show you a workout that you can do at home with minimal equipment. We're just using a set of adjustable dumbbells. Now, one thing you may find is if you don't have very heavy dumbbells, uh, you may actually run out of weight. So what I'm doing here as a more advanced bench press variation is a single arm dumbbell press. So I took the plates off the two dumbbells and stacked them onto one and doing one arm at a time. And this is quite challenging. It's a lot harder than it looks because you have to stabilize your entire body uh, to just perform a single arm dumbbell press. So if you're looking for some variety in your chest workouts, hey, give this one a shot, the single arm dumbbell bench press. Now any time that you do single arm exercises, you may find that one side of the body is stronger than the other. So if this is the case with the single arm dumbbell bench press, always start with your weaker side first and make sure to do the exact same number of reps for your stronger side afterwards. And this will, this will help to develop balance and proportion between both the left and right sides. And after the dumbbell bench press, we're going to do some dumbbell flies. And this is a great isolation exercise for the chest. With the dumbbell fly, you're really going to feel a good stretch throughout the entire pectoral region. Now, heavy weights is not important, but strict form and a full range of motion is. So I'd rather you be a bit conservative with your weights and really focus on feeling your chest stretch and contract as you're doing this exercise. Now, you notice that it's critical that you have your back elevated on something, in, the, in our case, our makeshift bench using our sofa cushions. But uh, you can use anything to elevate your back. I mean, if you have like a stack of blankets, a rolled up sleeping bag, or an exercise step, or just something to get your back off the floor several inches so that your elbows don't touch the floor in the bottom range of motion. 
And now we're going to move on and work our biceps, starting with the standing dumbbell curl. And for this one, we're going to do alternate dumbbell curls. So just curl one arm at a time and really focus on getting a good contraction throughout the biceps. Now you'll notice as I'm doing this exercise, I'm supinating the wrist. So the dumbbell start facing my sides at the bottom. And then as I curl the dumbbell up, I twist it so that my palm is facing up. And this will give you a good full contraction throughout the bicep as you do your dumbbell curls. Now as far as the repetitions, we're going to shoot for three sets of around 10 reps for each arm. Now a lot of people wonder what's the difference between doing alternate dumbbell curls versus curling both dumbbells at the same time. Now of course you can do whatever you want, it's personal preference, but when you do curls in an alternate fashion, curling one dumbbell at a time, you'll actually feel a bit stronger and you'll be able to focus on each bicep individually and get a better contraction throughout your arms. So that's why I prefer to do alternate dumbbell curls for getting a better bicep contraction. And now we're going to move on to the concentration curl to isolate the biceps. Now you'll find when you're doing concentration curls, you're really going to get a good peak contraction. Just due to the angle of the exercise, you're going to have to fight to hold the dumbbells in that top position. So it's going to give you a good isolation and a good peak contraction throughout the biceps. Now I'm just using my free hand on the back of a chair. In this case, I'm using my racing simulator chair, but any chair you have will do and that'll support your upper body while you bend over at the waist and curl the dumbbell. And we're doing these freestanding just like Arnold used to do back in the pumping iron movie. Now you can also do concentration curls seated with your elbow braced against the inside of your knee and that's a good variation as well. Again it's, it's just a different style of concentration curl and you can use whichever one you prefer whether it's the standing concentration curl like I'm doing here or whether you do the seated one with your elbow braced on the inside of your knee. Both of them are acceptable and both will give you a good peak contraction throughout the biceps. And to finish off our chest and bicep workout, we're going to do some more push-ups, but this time you're going to rep them out to failure. So the push-ups we did at the beginning was kind of a general warm-up for the chest. Now this is a finishing exercise to really pump up the entire chest and upper body. Now, uh, with this one, I'm actually using the dumbbells as push-up handles. And you'll find that if you do this, you'll get a better range of motion. And it's actually a bit easier on the wrist joint. And I made a video about this a while back. And if you want, you can check it out in the annotation up there to the side. But uh, doing your push-ups on dumbbells or push-up handles is a nice variation, especially if you find holding your hands flat on the floor uh, difficult on the wrist joint. So there you go, that's a complete chest and bicep workout that you can do at home with minimal equipment. Now to quickly recap, we started off with a couple sets of push-ups to warm up the chest. Then we did the dumbbell bench press for three sets of 10 reps, followed by the one-arm dumbbell bench press for three sets of 10 reps. Then we did the dumbbell fly, a good isolation exercise for the chest, uh, three sets of 12 reps. Then we moved on to the biceps with the standing alternate bicep curl, three sets of 10, followed by the concentration curl, three sets of 10 again for each arm. And then we finished off with more push-ups, this time repping out to failure to really pump up the chest and the entire upper body. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback to this video, please go ahead and post those in the comment section below, and I'll chat with you down there. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all my latest workout videos.